Good morning. So Emily has been playing with her Lego since about nine o'clock this morning, um, building her Heartland Hotel. I just got up at about 10, made breakfast, and now it's 1030 and we're going to sit down and start morning basket. A long time ago in a galaxy far, far away, a long time ago on a small planet called Tatooine, a young boy named Anakin Skywalker looked up at the planet's moons. Although he had never left his home, Anakin had always dreamed of going on great adventures and racing across the stars. One day, it looked like Anakin's dreams were coming true. He had met a Jedi Knight called, Qui called Qui-Gon who needed supplies to repair his ships. Anakin didn't have the money to help Je the Jedi, so he entered a pod race, <clears throat> hoping to win the supplies. And although Anakin had never won a race before, he knew he could do it. As the timer counted down before the beginning of the race, Anakin looked at the other racers. He wasn't worried about any of them except Sebula. Anakin knew Sebula cheated to win, but he wouldn't get away with it this time. Suddenly, the starting gong rang and they were off. But something was wrong. Anakin's pod racer wouldn't move. Anakin began to panic. Sebula must have done something to his pod racer. But Anakin thought what Qui-Gon had told him before the race began. Concentrate on the moment. Feel. Don't think. Use your instincts. Anakin took a deep breath, flew a few switches, and restarted his engine. They roared to life and Anakin quickly flew away, but he was a long way behind Sebula. Meanwhile, Sebula knocked his ship against another racer. The pod racer crashed off the course and burst into flames and Sebula laughed. Only a few racers left to worry about. Behind the crash, Anakin flew through a cavern and into a deep cave. One of the other racers wasn't paying attention and, right when, and ran right into some rocks and the ship exploded. Anakin quickly flew around the fire. That was close, Anakin thought. Anakin raced through the stadium. He had two more laps to finish, but he smiled. He was catching up to Subula. The racers thundered across the planet. Subula was still ahead of everyone, but he wanted to make sure it stayed that way. Subula threw a piece of metal behind him, and it went right into another racer's engine. The engine exploded, and the pieces of the pod racer fell everywhere. A piece cut through the cable connecting Anakin's cockpit to one of his engines, and Anakin began to spin out of control. But he remembered Qui-Gon's words. Anakin couldn't just worry about his problem if he wanted to win the race, he needed to fix it. Anakin quickly brought his cockpit under control and grabbed the loose cable. Soon he had reattached the engine and was back in the race. Sebula and Anakin zoomed through the stadium one last time before the final lap. With all the racers far behind, Anakin realized that Sebula was the only one between him and the finish line. Sebula's pod racer was much bigger than Anakin's and he forced Anakin off the course and high up on a cliff but Anakin wasn't going to be beaten. He changed gears and crashed back on the course right in front of Sebula for the first time Anakin was in the lead. Suddenly, Anakin saw smoke coming out of his engine. His pod racer was on fire. The hard landing must have damaged it. As Sebula raced ahead of him, Anakin knew he didn't have a lot of time. He needed to fix his pod racer right away. Anakin closed a flap above the engine to put out the fire and then he quickly pumped coolant into the overhead area. Soon, the engine roared back to full power and Anakin grinned it was time to win the race. Anakin could see the stadium getting closer and closer as he pulled up right next to Sebula. Sebula tried to push Anakin's smaller ship off the course again, but Anakin had a plan this time. As Sebula ran into him, Anakin caught his pod racer on Sebula's, and Sebula was stuck. And then as Sebula tried to pull his ship away, Anakin unhooked him. Sebula zoomed off wildly off course and smashed into a rock. Anakin has used Sebula's own tack against him. Anakin raised his hands over his head as he crossed the finish line and the crowd cheered. Qui-Gon ran to Anakin's pod, pod racer and lifted him high on his shoulders. Anakin had done what it seemed impossible. He won the race. Anakin smiled. One of his dreams had come true. He couldn't help wondering what great adventure he could have next. <clears throat>
Star Wars for the month of May. She will get to pick math, writing, or reading. We got these workbooks to go along with our Star Wars theme for May. So she's going to do one um, book a day. So not a whole book, but she gets to work in one a day. So which one do you want to work in today? This one. Okay. Go ahead. Write all the AR or R words in the alphabetical order. So you're going to need to look at these and figure out which one is going to come first alphabetically. Art. Very good. I can't believe the AR becomes like it's before. Mm -hmm. Art. And then I would cross it off to make it easier so you don't try to use it again. Yeah. Okay, so which one comes next? We need a B word. There's not one, so then what do you do? We go to the next letter, which is C. Cart. Very good. Next would be D. Dart. Mm hmm. Like Dart Favor. No. Dart, like you would throw a dart at a dartboard. Darth. Like Darth Vader would be T H, oh. and what else would it have since it's a proper name? A big D. A big D, a capital letter. Good job. Mm. Okay. So we're done with that. Yep. So next after that would be E and F. Okay. Well, I don't see an E, so what do we do? Four. Very good. Got that off real quick. After F is H, I mean G. Mm-hmm. So do you see a G? So we have to go to the next one, to harm. Yep, to H. Very good harm. Like someone's going to harm you? Yeah, that's what harm. You know, a lot of people get harmed in the Star Wars movies. Yeah. <laughs> okay, and cross that one off. After H is... I. Okay. Right. Mm hmm But I don't see any. So, G. I don't see any of those either. L. Very good. Large. Some people are large in the movie. Mm hmm March. Oh, no, I wasn't pointing. I'm sorry. I meant to be pointing at large. Didn't mean to confuse you. Okay, so now what's next? P? Mm. M? Yes. Okay. Let me that out so I don't forget. I really like this one. It's super fun. Yeah? Mm. What's the next one? Well, you tell me what comes next. I'm gonna go with P. Very good. That is next. Because there's no O or N. Mm hmm. At least yet. Nope, definitely not. So, park? Mm hmm. That's the next like one right here. Parking your shuttle? Yep. Very good. Alright, what's next? Well, after park, it would be F. Okay, but there's two S's, so what do we do? We do this. We'll go to this S, and we'll go to that one, because I have a P. So what did you do? You looked at, what, the second letter? Yes. Since they both had an S, you moved on to the next letter? Okay, good job. Very, very good. So, so smart? Yep, so smart is first. Okay, so we have done morning basket and table time, and now it is about 12, 15. Um, we would normally probably keep going a little bit longer, but Emily actually has an online class in about 45 minutes. It starts at one. So we're gonna go outside for a short little walk before her class just to kind of get her wiggles out, and then we'll do lunch after her class today. So Emily 
is getting ready to start her wild crafting class. We are jumping into the herbology portion of Wild Dog Wizards and Wands. So she's going to take a class about herbology and wild crafting on out school. And I am going to sit across from her and quietly get some work done. Alright, so Emily just finished her out school class, which was about wild crafting. So we are going to do a little bit of herbology from Wild Out Wizards and Wands. For example, the dandelion, plantain, and thistle are weeds, but they're also important herbs. So let's look at a few of these. What's that one? That's your favorite. Yeah, that's the dandelion. Yeah. So here's some of the different weeds. Mm -hmm. Now, which one looks like lemon balm? Because remember, y'all talked about lemon. Yep, y'all talked about lemon balm in there. I asked so, is one. this a dandelion or a lamb's quarters? Lamb's quarters. Mm -hmm. Which one is this? Chickweed. Very good. Molten. 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 I'm not sure how to say that. We'll have to look up a pronunciation. Yep. And then, what is this one? Please. Yeah. Okay. So. What is a weed? What's the basic? Well, a weed people don't like. Some weed. Some it's not that people don't like them. It's that it. Where does it grow? In cracks. It, sidewalk cracks. In gardens. In by houses and the yards. It just grows somewhere we don't want it to, right? That's yeah. really the difference between an herb and a weed. Is a weed is good, something that grows somewhere we don't want it to grow. So that's what I would write down for what is a weed is here. pretty much finished our school day and um, Emily is playing with her Lego that she just finished building or is finishing building it and then gonna play with it my husband is home and he is starting dinner I am going to go work for about an hour and then we will probably watch another Star Wars movie um, and then the last thing that we do is our bedtime basket so that'll be the last thing you see from us from today and that's pretty much a day in the life <laughs> 